Hello, good afternoon besties. It's time for another to-do list day. I don't mean for this to become a series. I just literally cannot function unless I write a to-do list for myself or else I'll just like sit in the corner and stare out into space and do nothing all day. Plus a lot of you guys seem to like these complete my to-do list with me videos. So we're just gonna keep doing them. It's a, it's a win-win. Here we go. Here she is on my little succulent notepad that I just tend to write it on every time. And it's pretty short today, but I am kind of coming out of like a mini depressive episode. So we have a lot of housekeeping to do, a lot of cleaning and organizing that needs to be done. and. And yeah, we're just, we're just like getting back on our feet, you know? If you didn't catch, I did say good afternoon. It is like 12 in the afternoon. I did already complete one thing off my to-do list and that was to drop my car off to get an oil change. So, you know, just like doing adult things. That was so cringy. Got my coffee for the day, bought this new mug. Isn't she cute? $5 from Target, couldn't resist it. And we're gonna get started. The first thing I have to do is clean my room because you can't see behind me, but let me, let me show you. Again, my room doesn't really get messy just because I'm pretty minimalistic. But like, if you look at the finer details of everything, we got a crusty oil sheet there. My drawers just unorganized, overflowing, dirty clothes, unmade bed. This corner chair that is supposed to be right here where I'm standing is obviously not in the corner. And my plant dying as it always is. So we're gonna start off with a room clean, which I do every day pretty much anyway, which again, I don't understand if I clean my room every day, how is it messy every day for me to clean? But I, I can't function until my room is clean and do any of my other tasks because right now I'm very overwhelmed. So let's start with that. Let's do a little fit check first. This is a fit in the most literal sense of the terms that it is clothing covering my body. This is not style. This is not anything. But we're going for functionality. We're going for movement. You know, I'm gonna be moving around a lot, cleaning. I'm literally wearing Boston Terrier ankle socks. Not trying to be like a fashion icon at the moment. Also, I put it on to like motivate me to like be in workout clothes and hopefully I'll go to the gym later like it's on my to-do list. So yeah. Okay, y'all, the room is officially clean. Look at her, beautiful, yay. Except that took entirely too long and now I'm sweating, so that's fun. I'm only done my first task and I'm already sweating and greasy. Also, I can't figure out what to do with my hair today. I keep changing it and I hate everything that I'm doing with it. So I don't know what to do. It's like too hot to keep down. I don't really like how it's looking. Okay, so now we can check clean room and vacuum off the to-do list. Fun. Oh, and I did clean my bathroom. Now, as you saw from some clips, I'm gonna clean out my closet, which I've been meaning to like make a whole separate video on, like making a video about like getting my wardrobe ready for summer and like going through all my summer clothes and stuff. But I've been putting it off for weeks and now there's like too much pressure for me to make a whole video on it. So I'm just gonna include it in this video. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is go through my closet and just like get it organized for summer. As you saw already, it was a mess, but I'll show you again. Nice. 
Okay, wait, I had to like change the color balance, but um, my mom was gonna donate a bunch of these shoes. So I'm like, hold on, I'll try them on. Let me see if I like them first. And then I just have my normal shoes. And then I have this basket that is usually up there, but it has some summer stuff and like bathing suits. So I just have to go through it. Cause right now I just have a bunch of winter and fall clothes. And as we know, by the fact that I'm sweating my ass off right now, there's no more need for long sleeve shirts. So I'm gonna go for my bathing suits too. I actually did try them all on like a few days ago and bought myself a new one. So bathing suits are good. I just need to like make them more accessible. Oh. Oh, and also I've been waiting to like film a separate video on it and like have all my laundry clean So I had all my clothes in my closet to make sure that I'm like accounting for them all I've done my laundry like three times now and I still have laundry in a hamper So I don't have all my clothes in my closet with me, but it's fine these boots yes in this outfit so it's not going to be like a really fair try on but we'll try them on for size socks and biker shorts and all oh yes look at this is a look okay they fit though they fit perfectly actually I don't know how I feel about square toe boots but they fit really well and they're a pair of free shoes so these fit and are pretty cute as well. And then we have these two sandals. This is like a flip-flop pair of heels. I don't know if I'm gonna like these. I don't really like sandals in general and I'm not gonna show you them on because truthfully, I don't want my feet on the internet. <laughs> so I'll try them on and let you know. It's a no to both of them. Okay, now I'm gonna go through these bins here. Let me sit you down on the floor with me. Here's the main bulk of stuff. Um, I have a lot more swimsuits than I thought. I guess I'll give you like a little swimsuit haul, even though it's not a haul because I didn't like technically buy them, but you know, a little swimsuit tour. All right, I already know this one doesn't fit me. I tried this one on, but it's cute. Red and then it has like a leaf pattern bottom, but I know that doesn't fit me. It's a little banana print. It's like bananas and leaves. Cute, love it. Oh, those first two, I don't know where I got them from. I'm sorry, I would let you know, but I, I don't know. This though, I know I got a Target, just a checkered print top that I wear with black bottoms. And I'm pretty sure this is the same exact style top in black. This one, which is pretty cute, it's from Target. I don't even, it's like a pink snake skin, but it's too big for me now. This pink tie-dye top, I have a lot in this like salmon pink dusty rose color, whatever it is. Is, but this one, normal triangle top and matching bottom. A pair of green bottoms. I don't think this matches anything, but I have a pair. I don't even know if these fit. This is another pair of black bottoms from Target. And this is my favorite bathing suit. Once again, in like this dusty rose color. This is, I'm pretty sure, from Paxson. And then I just bought this new one for the season. I needed something new. I've had the rest of these for like years now. And I'm like, I'm gonna treat myself to a new bathing suit. So I got this green one, which is like my favorite color. It's like a matcha color. Super cute from Target. My camera battery is dying. So let me change it out real quick. Just so you guys know, I'm like pretty miserable right now. <laughs> That's kind of dramatic, but like it is so hot in my room and I'm like humid and I like sticky and then it's just making everything else worse. Like I, again, don't like how my hair looks. I don't like how I look and I already showered this morning and I already feel gross and sticky. <laughs> but we're gonna keep going. This shirt I do like, I just want to crop it because I don't like how long it is. This shirt I like as well. I feel like it might be kind of big. I don't know, it's a small. It looks kind of big though. That's a good tank top. Oh, more bathing suit bottoms, okay. I could maybe use this as a workout top. This is literally just a normal tank top, but I will crop it. I've had this for like five, six years and have worn it every single 4th of July. Red, white, and blue. The only like red, white, and blue thing I own. Oh good, a plain white tank top. We love beige tank top. That works. I don't like this style of shirt on me, but I'll try it on. Oh, here it is in white too. Maybe I can make that work. This I love and I will be wearing. There's a bodysuit, but it's got little, little oranges on the titties. <laughs> oh, I am a liar. I do have another red, white, and blue thing. It's this bodysuit, but I've literally never worn it. Never worn it. I want to wear it every year and then I don't, but it's super cute. So I will wear it as I say every year. Oh, cool. Another white tank top. Love. So let's dedicate this bin just to my bathing suits. It's all in there. This other bin will be just for my bags because they all seem to fit nicely. And then I guess we'll just wash all of these tank tops and then try them on later to see which ones I wanna keep. But I have a lot more than I remembered, so that's good. So hopefully I don't need to go like summer shopping that much. I mean, obviously I'll go thrifting and things, but I have pretty basic items. All right, let's put these back in my closet. Oof.
I was gonna go do my laundry, but my mom is still doing hers, so I thought I would stop for a little snack, lunch break. We got some honeydew crackers and pine nut hummus. A delicacy. Now that I'm done that cleaning and my room looks all good, I have been like compiling a mental list of changes that I wanna make to my room. I don't really wanna like redecorate it or anything like that, but it needs something different because it's looked like this for years, but it's also exactly my aesthetic. So like I need little changes to be done to like spice it up a little bit. So the first thing definitely, let me show you, is this wall in my corner right here. If we step back, it's like this corner because I used to have paintings that I painted myself here, but I just got tired of them, took them down and just haven't replaced them since. So I'm thinking of doing like a collage wall like finding cute aesthetic pictures from Pinterest as well as mixed in with some of my own pictures and doing like a collage wall here. I also need more book storage now that I've been buying so many books because my books do not deserve to be on the ground like that. So I don't know if I want to get another one of these cubes. I think that would be too much. So I think I need like a bookshelf. Like I'm thinking of something like tall and skinny to maybe put in this corner because like this is kind of empty up here too. Like it's getting more filled now that I have all these plants. This corner I like. That doesn't need anything else but we need to get these books off the ground there's zoe whenever she lays down like this she just looks dead like she looks like she just flopped over and died she's not she's alive right zoe there she is <laughs> so yeah i'm thinking of getting like a tall skinny bookshelf to go here and then i can also put my plants on top of it and give it even more height and i kind of want to switch out these pictures i don't think you can take them out of the frame like i think it's like part of the entire frame but I do have two other prints that could go there to like switch it up a little bit like I said though I'm not looking to redecorate because this is my vibe and I like being very minimalistic so like when you're minimalistic you don't get much stuff like I don't want to really add anything to my room but I definitely need like a bookshelf for my books because they don't deserve to be on the ground and then to fill this blank wall so I think that's what I'm gonna work on right now, finding some like Pinterest pictures or whatever. Oh, and from my last video, I got a lot of good plant tips from you guys. So as we know, I did a little upcycling moment and used old candle jars to put my plants in, but I asked the question if the pots need like holes in the bottom and pretty much everyone was like, yes, they need holes in the bottom so that your roots don't rot or like the water doesn't sit in there. And then some people suggested that you put like a layer of like pebbles or stones. So again, like the water doesn't sit and it can like sit in the stones rather than in the soil and in the roots. So once I get my car back from the oil change, maybe I can go get some like rocks or something to put in the bottom, which means I have to depot all of these and replant them, but it'll be worth it if I don't kill them, you know? But they're doing great. I love my little um, greenhouse that I made in this corner. Okay, so let's go to Pinterest and see if I can find some pictures to print out. I think I just, I just want like something there. A collage wall, very aesthetic, very vibey. I just got a really cute text from a friend. I'm gonna keep the theme all like neutrals and green because that's like the vibe of my room. So I'll get back to you. Okay, I've scrolled through Pinterest for I don't know how long, could have been 30 minutes, could have been an hour, don't know. Collected my pictures and I put them all in a document. I just used Photoshop, but you can use like Word or whatever and then put them all on a PDF and I'm just gonna print them out at home and hopefully don't make my computer combust with all this printing. I also will uh, link below the Pinterest board with all the pictures if you happen to do this or just wanna see what pictures I use specifically. So I will link that down below for you guys. Okay, so I have it all printed out. Obviously you have to like cut and put it all together and stuff. However, before I get started on this whole arts and craft project, I'm going to go to the gym because I'm like hungry right now and I don't want to eat before the gym. I'd rather eat after. Plus I still feel like gross and sticky from earlier today. So I'd rather just like go to the gym, shower, eat, and then get comfortable. And then we can dive into our arts and crafts moment, you know? I would take you with me, but I'd rather not film in the gym. Maybe a little snippet or something, but um, for now I'm just gonna do a transition, okay. Hello, I'm back. Went to the gym, showered, did not wash my hair or anything. Obviously, I didn't get too sweaty. I wasn't there for too long, maybe like 45, 50 minutes. I usually try to do like an hour or more, but I was really tired today. I mean, I'm still really tired and I'm hungry. So we're gonna make some dinner. Literally all day, I've been thinking about eating banana ice cream for dinner and I've been so excited for it, but now 
I don't really want it anymore. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna make like chicken, vegan chicken and vegetables because I kind of want something more fulfilling because I'm really hungry. Okay, this is my super easy dinner that literally takes like 10 minutes. Uh, rice packet, the little microwave pouches. I'll do like half of this. And then some frozen veggies. These are shredded potatoes, sweet potato, broccoli and cauliflower. And then this is Brussels sprouts. And then whatever protein source I feel like, whether it's tofu or I have these little guardian chicken strips right now. So kind of like a veggie chicken bowl. Here we go, chicken and veggies on top of the rice. I think it's actually a rice lentil blend. And then I'm going to top it off with some Trader Joe's barbecue sauce. This is sweet and spicy pineapple barbecue sauce. This stuff, so good. Literally you can put it on anything. Like it really doesn't go with these vegetables, but I don't care. And again, it took me like 10 minutes, not even. Okay, so this is obviously all my laundry I'm putting away. I've decided that I'm going to do my little photo wall thing tomorrow when it's daylight and I can get better footage of it, you know? So I guess this vlog is going to extend into tomorrow, which is all good with me. I also didn't end up um, getting like the rocks for my plants or like new pots or whatever, so we'll do that tomorrow as well. But as of right now, I'm just going to put away my clothes, get them off my bed, and then crawl into bed and go to sleep. So I guess that means good night and I will catch you all tomorrow. Good morning, besties. Yes, it is still morning. It's not quite afternoon yet. I did wake up pretty early today. As you can see, I'm like ready for the day, if you could tell, I don't know. Did my little morning routine, ate my banana ice cream that I was craving last night for breakfast this morning and it was delicious. We're just going to pick up where we left off, starting with the little collage wall. And then other than that, the only thing that I have left that I like want to do or from my to-do list is go out and buy some rocks for my plants um, and then repot them. And if I can't quite find rocks, which I don't know, can you just like buy a bag of pebbles at the store at like Lowe's or something. I want my little plants that I put a lot of time and energy into making sure they grew roots so that they can like thrive and do their best and whatever. I'm trying to be a good plant mom. And then since cleaning out my closet and taking out some summer clothes, I need more hangers for my closet. So that's the only thing I have left to do. And then I'm probably just going to start editing this video for the rest of the day. But enough talking, let's get into this. Pretty much just need to cut these out um, and then arrange them how I want them to look on my wall and put them up. I am filming a TikTok of it though, so give me a few minutes to get some footage for my TikTok first. Let me back up so you can get the full corner view. Beautiful, lovely. It kind of looks small because this wall is very big and open, but I feel like any more pictures or like any bigger of a collage would just feel too cluttered. So I really like it. It's really cute. Here's all the pictures. Obviously I have some like personal pictures with my friends, but again, I will have the Pinterest board with all the like other collage pictures linked down below so that you can check it out yourself. It's so peaceful in here. I feel like I've entered like a magical land. <laughs> All right, y'all, we are outside. So it's time to garden. I got the rocks, rock secured. White river pet pebbles. And I got my plants. I got a bucket to put the soil in. Oh, I also got this watering can, which I thought was like so cute. It was like $2. Leaves back in, scoop the soil on top. Look at me professional gardener. All right, there we go, look how cute. It made it even more like aesthetic since this is clear and you can see the rocks. And then I guess we'll give it a little water. That's one, now I just gotta do the other two. All right, here we go, here's the little garden. So cute. Um, It is starting to look a little cluttered now, which is why I still wanna get a shelf here, I just haven't really looked into that yet. And then I did run to Target and get more hangers, so I just need to hang up all the clothes that I found yesterday. And otherwise, I think that's it for the vlog. That's all I had to do, and I'm gonna end it here, because I'm just gonna go and edit this vlog now. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you all have a wonderful day and night wherever you are. And make sure that you stay tuned to my next video. Bye.